Hi, I'm Kelly Swartz with Wiederman Malik. Today we're going to talk about virtual patent marking. Virtual patent marking is a relatively new way for patentees to put the public on constructive notice of their patent. 35 United States Code Section 287A is directed to patent marking and generally requires that patented objects must be marked with their patent numbers. This statute makes some exceptions to the requirement. One of these exceptions is virtual patent marking. To comply with the requirements for virtual patent marking, patentees must mark their patented article with the word patent or the abbreviation PAT followed by the URL address where their patent information, including the patent number, is accessible to the public at no charge. So how does this benefit your company? While it's still legally acceptable to mark the actual product with the word patent or its equivalent, followed by the patent number, virtual patent marking offers companies at least three major benefits. First, virtual patent marking allows patent owners to avoid the effort and expense involved in updating and maintaining the patent information on its products or packaging. When a patent expires or is issued, patent owners can simply update their patent landing page. There's no need to change the product packaging or the molds. Second, virtual patent marking is just as effective and legally valid as other marking methods when it comes to giving constructive notice to potential infringers. Third, virtual patent marking, if done correctly, may eliminate potential false marking claims. If you need assistance setting up your virtual mark or your patent landing page, I'd be happy to assist you. Feel free to contact me anytime. This is Kelly Swartz. Thanks for watching.